Hello, hello, everybody. <clears throat> welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. And welcome to Queen Cancer Tarot channel. And I am the host. My name is Catherine. I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of my beautiful, lovely Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general love reading, so please take this energy, how it resonates with yours and with the person that is closest to you. If you are new to my channel, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do a giveaway every single month. I am so late doing the monthly giveaways. I have a lot going on, and it just is what it is. I'm going to be doing those announcements on this weekend, so please stay tuned for that. I'm also going to announce the weekly winners on today for the weekly uh, drawing. Um, if you would like to be entered in your chance to win, first of all, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and also um, hashtag win or hashtag free reading if you would like to be included on the weekly drawing. Okay, I do a weekly drawing for a three question reading with me um, and I will choose three names every week. Okay, that takes place on typically on Fridays, maybe Saturday or Sunday, just depending on how busy I am. Um, for those of you who have um, sent me emails, prayers, well wishes, um, thank you so much for all of you. Um, my daughter thanks you. My grandson, Apollo, um, has been very ill in the hospital. He has had multiple surgeries over the past week and a half. You all pray, pray please pray for my daughter. Keep her and Apollo in your prayers. All right. Okay. Okay, so today, oh, later today, you guys, I'm going to be going live on Tarot Talk Live. So if you are interested in a live with me, and I will, um, we will be doing some questions at the end. So those of you, I am taking the first five people, okay, the first five people that want to have a question answered by me, um, Please, please stay tuned and keep your notifications set for when I go live. I am also going to be going live on this channel. Um, one and two question readings, $11.11 each. If you're interested and you would like to prepay, please go to the website to do that. The link is below. All right, Cancers. Let's go ahead and look at your energy, your person's energy here. This is a you versus them for Cancer and the Collective. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, okay. So we have info, unblock, and manifest. Heed what you hear, read between the lines, find print, seek advice from those you trust, and get more information. And then you have unblocked, blockages removed, paperwork approved, released from legal obligation, things going smoothly, um, manifest, successful manifestations, learning to manifest, aligning to receive, journal and candle. So, Cancer, for those of you who are um, those of you who are looking to um, I feel like there's an energy of some of you are looking to like buy a house. I'm just seeing a lot of paperwork. I'm seeing a lot of signatures. Um, and I'm seeing things coming towards you, okay? Spirit is saying that because you um, read between the lines, because you reached out to those who had expertise in a certain area, I feel like things were opened up. You may have gotten um, a loan or there's some sort of financing 
that you receive that you may not have received if you had not done this. But I do see you being successful. Whatever it is that you're setting out to get, I do see you getting that, okay? Okay, hold on just one second. Sorry, guys. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys can see. Okay. One second here. Okay. So, <clears throat> one second. Okay. So with info, unblock, and manifest, Here, here, I feel like there, it's like there's an energy of something that it's like, I feel like there's something that you need to look into. There may be some paperwork that you need to look into. There may be an energy of there's a contract, okay, that you may need to have someone take a really close look at it. Because I feel like... <clears throat> I feel like if you have someone that is a professional look into this matter for you, I feel like it can open up or there's some sort of, there's some benefit or some profit or there's some money that's due to you, but you don't know about this, okay? Because you can't really, I feel like you're not really able to really understand it. That ha this has to do with some sort of contract. Okay, this is some sort of contract, but I don't want to put too much of my thoughts into it here. So let's just go right into the tarot here. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancer. Or and it doesn't necessarily have to be as specific as that. I feel like that is just like for that's like a very specific, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting that very specifically for someone that there's like some sort of paperwork that's being looked at that they need to have someone take a closer look into it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like get an attorney um, to help you to understand it. Okay. But when it comes overall for the collective, in general, I feel like there's just some energy of there's something that you need to pay closer attention to. Um, there may be, uh, you know, something between the lines, you know, you know what I'm saying your person may be trying to tell you something, you know, and you're not really listening closely to what this person is saying. Okay. With unblock here. <clears throat> It says blockages removed and then manifest. So I feel like there's an energy of needing to clear some things out of the way so that you can open up 
to your person here to find out what it is your person is trying to tell you. Tell me about info here. Holy Spirit, Angel Symbols, and the Two of Cups. The Two of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So, and it has their two hearts on these two cups as well, y'all. It's like, you know, I have this deck and I've had this deck for quite a while and I'm noticing differences about this deck as I go along. So there are two, two of cups in this deck, y'all. There's also two um, world cards in this deck. And there's another card that, that there's two of in this deck, which is interesting. So every deck has some sort of difference. But there's two two of cups in this one. And this one, one of the differences is there are two hearts on these two cups. Okay. And the other two of cups, there are no hearts. Okay. So there's some emotion here. And I feel like there's a close connection with this person. Okay. And I feel like, you know, there's love between the two. So we have the two of pentacles here. So there's an energy of someone who is going back and forth. They're doing something. Okay. They're going back and forth and doing something. Underneath the deck, we have the Empress here. Okay. So there's a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of love in the connection. Okay. Cancer, I feel like there is a lot of love in this connection here. And you know what? What's interesting is I don't know how many of you are uh, doing this right now, but this is like someone who is actually trying to have children. Someone's trying to get pregnant. Okay. I'm getting an energy of someone who is trying to get pregnant. And I feel like There, things are going to be opening up for you, Cancer. I feel like now is a good time. With Unblock in the current energy, I feel like now is a very good time to do this. With the Two of Pentacles, I feel like there was some adjustments that were being made. I feel like, you know, you were working on it. There was an energy of, you know, a lot of <laughs> back and forth. And when I say back and forth, I mean, literally, um, but I feel like with unblock in the current energy and manifest coming through here, I feel like this is about to come to pass. So I feel like now is a good time to try if any of you are trying to get pregnant. Okay. Just letting you know. And if you're not, you might want to make sure you are protected. Tell me about Unblock, please. Okay. The Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. So there's a whole lot of something going on here. There's a whole lot of action, a whole lot of communication, a whole lot of talking, a whole lot of something. Somebody is coming in with a lot of passion here. Okay. And we have the world under the deck here. Fire energy here. And this is also talking about something external, something that is um, coming from out of nowhere. Something that's coming from out of nowhere and things are going to change. 
things are going to pick up and things are going to change. <clears throat> This is talking about a new cycle here. Tell me about manifest, please. Tell me about manifest. And we have the nine of pentacles. Beautiful. This talks about achievement. Okay. This talks about success. This also talks about the fruits of one's labor. OK, and if you think about, you know, two people who are trying, you know, they're doing a lot. They're doing the most trying to make a baby. And look, under the deck, we have the fool. This is that cycle starting over. This is um, almost an energy of someone who is starting over. This is talking about being vulnerable. You think about a child when you think about the fool energy. This talks about a new beginning. OK. You think of manifesting something new, okay? And look, you have the death card, which also is, if you think about the death card in the way that it was meant, it is not just an ending, but it's a new beginning. It's a change in cycle. Do you see this child that is here? So I feel like there's just an energy of, you know, you have the older person and then you have the younger person here is what I'm saying. So there's an energy of things starting over or new cycles that are coming to pass. We have the Ace of Wands. This also talks about new beginnings. Okay. New cycles, something new. All right. Um, so So cancers, and it talks about journaling, okay? So you could be charting, writing things down, you know what I'm saying? Um, but you are going to be getting some good news soon because I feel like this is something that you have been trying to do, okay? This is a very deliberate card. We might even see the emperor come out here. Whoa, well, we got the world. I just wanted to clarify the two of cups here and the two of pentacles. And we got the world. We got the world twice. So again, this is talking about this cycle, you know, things. I feel like there's, you know, you're going through a lot um, with the ten of wands. I feel like there's an energy in the two of cups. Once again, I feel like up. Oh, and you got the Ten of Cups here behind the scenes, Cancer. So what I'm telling you is that you are going to be at an energy where you're ready to give up here. Just when you're ready to give up on this, on trying, because you're starting to get tired, I feel like there's been a lot <laughs> of movement, a lot of back and forth on your part, a lot of adjustments being made, and you're, you're growing tired of it. You're feeling like you're never going to you're never going to, it's never going to happen. Okay. But I feel like it is though. The 10 of cups says it is. The 10 of cups says it is. I didn't mean to smack you with the 10 of cups, but Hey, tell me about the eight of wands here in the world. Tell me about the eight of wands in the world, please. Tell me about the eight of wands and the page of swords. So this is an energy of someone who is watching, but this is also an energy of somebody who's a little anxious. So they may, they're, you know, This talks about someone who's asking questions or they're starting to become anxious or maybe there's an energy of starting to feel like, you know, it's not going to happen for you. But I feel like this is going you're going to be finding out very soon. See, you've got the fool again. You're getting all the same cards. You're getting all of the same cards. And I, 
I'm feeling like just when you start to worry with that five of pentacles here, that's all about being afraid or being worried or having a fear that, you know, you've been, you know, abandoned like this. You're just not going to have this opportunity and you're going to, it's going to come in. You're going to find out you're going to get some good news. Tell me about this. Tell me about the fool. And then what is this? The nine of pentacles. Mm hmm. Tell me about the Fool and the Nine of Pentacles with the Death card. And look, the Queen of Pentacles, Motherhood. What am I telling you? I mean, I'm. this is just for whoever is watching this that this resonates with. Let me know in the comments, okay? I feel like there are some of you who may be trying, okay? And um, <laughs> I know there's a lot of you who are like, don't even talk to me about that right now, Catherine. <laughs> I'm I'm not trying, okay? <laughs> so this is not for you, okay? And that's fine. But for those of you who are getting it on with the Ace of Wands, now is the time because it is going to be happening. It is going to be happening. It is going to happen very quickly, okay? So... For those of you who are ready to get it on and you are ready to manifest something, I'm telling you, sow that seed because it is going to happen. Things are going to change. You have the eight of wands twice because you have the seven of wands here plus the ace of wands that makes eight. And you have the eight of wands here. You have all of these cards twice, the world twice, the two of cups twice. The Fool, twice. The Eight of Wands, twice. Um, beautiful reading. So let's look at your person's energy here. Let's just see what's going on with your person. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Let's look at your person's energy. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancer's person, please. Tell me about Cancer's person, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancer's person. Now, this is interesting here. So, already, so we have cleansing in the reverse. We have gratitude and we have time. It will happen in the near future. Okay, so cleansing, decluttering your space, clearing your energy, frequency, music, protection, spells and crystals, salt, bath, shower, and this is all in the reverse, y'all. So listen, this talks about protection in the reverse. So this person is not using any protection. This person is very much also looking to do the do. They try and do the dirty, dirty, dirty. Okay. Nothing about cleansing going on with this person. And they are, you know, definitely with gratitude. I feel like in the current energy, um, this talks about practice gratitude daily. Be grateful for the small things, show appreciation. More blessings will come to you if you do this. And with time, it will happen in the near future. So this person is definitely also manifesting in the same way. So these are two people. Like I said, you saw the two of cups twice. So I feel like my ears are just ringing and ringing and ringing. So I feel like this is beautiful energy. And I love to see this beautiful masculine feminine energy coming together to make a family wanting to have this both of you. Okay wanting it so much. You got the fool twice. You got the world twice. So you are both in the energy of ready for this new beginning and things are going to come colliding together. Literally, it's going to be a beautiful situation, but let's see. Tell me about cleansing in the reverse, cleansing in the reverse. Ooh, the card came out rough. And we got the star. Look at that. So this person definitely is, you know, 
they are listening. I'm telling you, this person is like in the energy of, you know, praying and, you know, keeping themselves a certain way. I mean, that they're focused on this. Look at this. You have the magician here. And I'm telling you right now, like this person is no joke. You got three major arcana here, by the way, the judgment card is back here. That's why I'm showing you, but you have three major arcana. This is huge right now. This person is extremely wanting this. This person has everything that everything that needs to happen. This person has got it. Okay. Everything that needs to happen. This person has got it. So tell me about gratitude. Tell me about gratitude. I just feel like there's an energy of somebody's going to get some good news. We have the moon. So again, there's an energy of something that, you know, you're hoping for, but you don't really know if this is happening. I feel like this is like, uh, you're, un you're unsure. There's some uncertainty here, but this dog is howling at the moon and the wolf is howling and the lobster is coming up out of the water here. Under the deck, King of Pentacles, ultimate card of fatherhood with the Queen of Cups, honey. This is you. This is you, okay? All day, all day here, I feel like there is going to be some news. I can see you telling, like, you know, honey, I found out it's it's happening. I'm pregnant, you know. I, it's It's two lines here. Do you see what I'm saying? This is going to happen, and it's going to happen in the near future. Tell me about the near future, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about the near future. And we have the Six of Cups, and it's in the reverse here. So this is someone who is like, They're holding on to the past. They're failing to live in the present. So there's an energy of not really accepting the fact that this is actually happening. I feel like it's going to happen so fast. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, are you sure this is like happening? Look, you have the page of wands under the deck. This talks about something that is happening like really quickly. Like before you even get a chance to really think about it a lot. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you have the seven of wands. Seven plus one is eight. Things happening very, very quickly. And there's almost an energy of like pushing it away for a minute because with this four of pentacles, there's an energy of like holding on to like, it's almost like, are you sure you're ready? There's energy of like not being really sure here. Um, but with the Ten of Pentacles, once again, yeah, things are happening very quickly. You are going to find out that you are expecting. This is beautiful. So for those of you who are trying, this is a beautiful reading. Sorry. For those of you who are, are definitely not wanting this, <laughs> this is not your reading, okay? And look, you have the seven of swords in the reverse and the six of pentacles in the reverse. So this talks about someone who's, um, this talks about a very, uh, someone who's very controlling when it comes to um, love here with the seven of swords in the reverse. This is someone who's not playing games anymore. This is somebody who's very serious, okay? And I feel like this masculine is coming in with, you know, they're coming in to put it down here. Yeah, you have the nine of wands and the seven of pentacles, okay? Seven of pentacles it talks about sowing your seeds, does it not? Y'all check, y'all can check your nearest tarot reader and ask them what seven of pentacles means. And with that nine of wands is, this talks about, you just tell them what, what does this mean? This talks about resilience, okay? This is an energy of somebody who is very, has a strong vitality, okay? They have a strong vitality, a lot of testosterone, and there's going to be a lot of baby making going on when you unleash this 
masculine. I am not even joking. I am like blushing over here because this is crazy. Oh, these cards are coming out. You see these wolves are like howling at the moon. Tell me about this. <laughs> Look, you got the lovers. I am like gushing at you guys' reading right now because this is so extra. Um, And you have the six of swords under the deck and the judgment card. So I do feel like there's an energy of, you know, with the sun here. Okay. I'm sorry. I had to keep going. You have the sun. So at the end of the day, you're this person, you're going to be running away from this person, but you're definitely going to end up with a, a, a something in the oven. You're definitely going to end up with something in the oven. Okay. But this person is going to be, and you got the lovers here. You got the moon here. Yeah. This is, like I said, the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. Like, this person is um, definitely very, very passionate right now. They're definitely ready for baby making. And it is going to happen very, very soon. Before you know it, as a matter of fact, like I said, with the Six of Cups in the reverse and that Page of Wands with the Seven of Wands, you're like, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> like, can we can we talk about this? Because I feel like your doctor is going to be the one to, to, of course, to let you know. Like, you may take a pregnancy test, but your doctor is going to be, like, confirming this for you. And you're going to be like, wait, tell me about the Six of Cups in the reverse. Six of Cups in the reverse. But this is a good thing. Look, we have the Eight of Cups and the empress do you see what i'm saying this is something that you have worked on very hard and you and the fruit of your labor is about to come towards you you are about to find out that you very much are pregnant okay you are very much expecting this is all divine feminine energy fertile as you want to be here whether you like it or not, get ready. There's an energy with this Eight of Pentacles. It's like you're having to really work on, you know, focusing on motherhood, you know, with the Five of Cups with the moon here. But you have the Ten of Pentacles here. I do feel like you may go through a little bit of, you know, a little bit of postpartum I'm seeing with this energy. But it is, you are going, things are going to brighten up. Things are going to brighten up. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups and the Four of Swords, I feel like you're just going to need to get, have a little break because you have the Page of Wands again. Okay, after all of that, you have the Page of Wands. I think things are just going to happen like really quickly. Um, but there's just an energy of get the, all the rest that you can while, you know, before this baby comes, because I feel like you're going to need a lot of it afterwards and just take a break, a mental break for yourself and plenty of relaxation and self-care. Okay. That eight of pentacles was there for a reason next to the empress. So I feel like, you know, you really need to focus on taking care of yourself and focusing on you. And that's what this is all about. And congratulations, because it is not easy um, to even be, get pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So first of all, you have definitely um, had an accomplishment. Um, and this is beautiful. Congratulations to you guys. Okay. This was a beautiful reading. I haven't done one of these. I don't know that I've done. I've seen something about people being pregnant, but it's it's been bad news. Um, but this is very good news here for someone. All right. So oh, congratulations. All right. If you would like to take things into an extended for this particular reading, let me know. All right. And I will make a link available to you. I can pull some Oracle, some future predictive Oracle messages and see how things are going to go for you throughout this pregnancy. All right. So if you want a little more information into that, please let me know and I will provide a link to you. Thank you. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.